Something really special to show you. <gasps> Oop, <laughs> you know. Oop, look at this. It's a Bumblebee t shirt. Why? It's merch for our new channel, Bumblebee, which is launching oh, oh so soon. And I cannot wait for you all to see it. Our entire team, along with Dewey and I, have been working so hard. So click on over and subscribe so you can be the first to give us the thumbs up because it's gonna be great. Look at this shirt. Look at how cute it is. I can't wait to wear it. It's gonna be fun. But now on to our video. Get ready for today is our part two of our list of top 10 weirdest natural phenomenons you've never heard of. You love the first one, you know we give you what you love. From menacing red tides to gravity defying anomalies, all this and more will be featured in today's video. I'm your host Rachel Fisher and let's get started shall we? Number 10. Foxfire. We discussed a bit about bioluminescent fish, plankton, and worms, but mushrooms? Foxfire is a specific kind of bioluminescent mushroom that grows from decaying trees. Similar to other creatures we discussed last time, foxfire feeds off the decaying forest matter, which results in the chemical reaction of two chemicals, which we talked about last time. Make sure you go and check out part one if you don't know what I'm talking about, which causes a breathtaking glow. What makes this phenomenon even more unique is just how bright it can get. Fairy fire as it's also called, can get so bright that some say you could comfortably read a book next to it if that was your only light source. So if your favorite spot to read is cozied up in a forest somewhere, seek out some foxfire and you'll be set to read all night and day. Number 9. The Red Tide Sounds kind of ominous and in many ways it kind of is. The Red Tide or HABs aka harmful algal blooms are equally dangerous and astounding. They occur when the population of algae gets out of control and produce chemicals potentially dangerous to any surrounding creatures i.e. humans, fish, shellfish, you name it. The disease caused by the red tide which can infect humans can be fatal. The most common occurrence of the red tide happens along Florida's Gulf Coast and can even make the air surrounding them toxic. There appearance can also affect local economies as the algae can also affect the quality of any seafood in the area. Scientists at the National Ocean Service have been monitoring them for years in order to see how to better predict them so as to give communities fair warning. But it still remains a work in progress. So if you do ever see blood red water, there's more than one reason to get the heck out of there. So be careful. Number 8. An aquatic rainfall. If your anthem is raining men by the weather girls then this may be the closest you'll ever get to that. Maybe. Imagine staring outside your window during a thunderstorm. Instead of raindrops you see tadpoles, frogs, fish, birds and even grosser insects getting swept away by your windshield wipers. Sounds crazy. And it is. But that certainly doesn't mean it can't happen in this crazy, crazy world of ours. This phenomenon is known as an aquatic rainfall. Various forms of usually aquatic wildlife are swept up by tornadoes, thunderstorms, and water spouts and eventually succumb to the laws of gravity. What goes up must come down. It is entirely unpredictable unless after a particularly strong storm, you notice the koi fish in your pond outside have mysteriously disappeared. But for all those still holding out hope for the raining men scenario, maybe pick up a few frogs and see if if any of them are secretly princes. Otherwise, dream on, sweetheart. Number seven, the green flash. I am a massive Pirates of the Caribbean fan, so I was delighted to find out that this phenomenon was actually real. But unfortunately, there is no real Will Turner at the end of it, and Captain Jack Sparrow is nowhere to be seen, so. Not that great. Anyway, it is also far less extravagant as portrayed in the film and happens more than 10 years apart, so there's that too. The green flash is an optical illusion that occurs when the sun is just about to sink below the horizon or as it's slowly rising and appears to glow green for about one to two seconds. At that angle, the atmosphere bends the light passing through it and it acts like a prism separating the light into different colors. Blue and violet are scattered by the atmosphere, red, orange, and yellow are absorbed, leaving green as the last one standing. If you want to witness the phenomenon, Stay close to a flat horizon on a clear day and wait patiently. Keep your eyes out for a ship as well. You know, just in case. Number six, sun dogs. Dog lovers, don't get too excited. I'm not talking about some kind of extremely blonde 
dog breed that shines like the sun. Sorry to disappoint you, but I did just film a video on Bumblebee about some other dog breeds, so stay tuned for that. But what sun dogs actually are are a natural phenomenon that occurs in, you guessed it, the sky. Two large spots of light sit on either side of the sun, giving the appearance that we have three suns blaring down on us. While illusions like rainbows reflect through water droplets, sun dogs occur because of ice in the atmosphere. When ice crystals are suspended within the clouds, they act as prisms and reflect the light back, causing the appearance of two suns. Number five, moon bows. I love that. Moon bows. So you've heard of rainbows, even double rainbows, but what about moon bows? Similar to actual rainbows, which are created when sunbeams reflect through rain droplets, moon bows are when moonlight reflects instead. They are pretty rare as the moon has to be especially bright to make it happen, but it certainly can and has happened. The moon must also be the fullest in its cycle and be sitting closely to the horizon. So for all of our werewolves and night owls watching, let us know in the comments if you've ever caught this phenomenon. Number four, the columnar basalt. A phenomenon by many names, the organ pipes, kilt rock, Samson's ribs, the giant's causeway, as well as a few yet unnamed places on Mars, columnar basalt is a curious formation that looks man-made but isn't. It is a rock formation that takes the shape of multiple vertical pillars, so uniform in shape that they look like someone poured concrete into a hexagonal or polygonal mold. But alas, the aliens didn't help us build them, it is all just science, my friends. These unique creations are actually the result of lava outpouring and cooling at a consistent rate. The lava then cracks, which causes the surface to spread downward, resulting in their shape. The most famous example for you to check out seems to be the Giant's Causeway in Ireland, though it occurs in multiple places around the world. Even with the explanation, it still remains one of the most awe-inspiring phenomenons in the world. Number three, Spotted Lake for all my Canadians out there, including myself and Chris. There you go. Hey! <laughs> Number three, Spotted Lake. Pretty much exactly as it sounds. Located in British Columbia, Canada. You may think the reason people visit this lake in the summer is to enjoy a refreshing swim, but it's actually to enjoy the view. In the summer, most of the water evaporates, leaving behind multiple mini pools of water, each a different color. From pale blue to pale yellow, the color of each spot depends on whatever mineral deposits are within the pools themselves. Magnesium sulfate makes up the majority of the pools themselves, and during World War II, some of the minerals were even harder harvested for ammunition. Interesting, right? A lot of salt also collects on the surface and Chinese laborers would often collect it to have it shipped across the world. Now the spot is mostly a tourist attraction and based on the pics, I can definitely see why. Number two, ball lightning. Ball lightning is one of the absolute weirdest and most perplexing examples of phenomenon on this list and scientists still can't quite explain it. It usually appears in thunderstorms, but unlike anything else shooting from the sky. It appears as an orb floating in the sky that ranges in color from blue to orange to yellow and then disappears. Stranger still, it has been known to make a hissing sound and emit an acrid odor. Sounds too odd to be true, especially since many people have never seen it. Many people believe that it is simply a myth, but scientists agree that it does exist. It was first recorded in 1638 as a great ball of fire flying through an English church. Which, I'm actually surprised they interpreted it that way. Maybe they didn't, who knows. Then, researchers in Lanzhou, China, Northwest Normal University, accidentally caught video footage of the occurrence during a thunderstorm in 2012. The ball appeared just after a lightning strike and traveled for 10 meters before it disappeared. The spectrometer tracking the ball detected iron, silicon, and calcium in it, which was present in the soil around the location. Scientists are looking for people who have reported seeing them, so if you have, let them know. Number one, last but not least, the mysterious spot. <laughs> Great name, man. Hey, we don't know what it is, so we're just gonna call it the mysterious spot. The mysterious spot in Santa Cruz, California seems to be a place where gravity just doesn't work, or at least decided to play by its own rules. It was discovered in 1939 by a group of surveyors and only a year later it opened to the public. It is described as a circular area only 46 meters in diameter and is rife with mind melding optical illusions. It's difficult to sufficiently explain what happens there so let me just show you this. Check out this video of people defying the laws of gravity while on site. Scientists still aren't quite sure as to why this place exists, but theories range from alien involvement, of course, 
course to theories that perhaps CO2 is leaking from the earth or that it's due to the hole in the ozone layer or a magma vortex or it's the highest dielectric biocosmic radiation area known in the world. Whatever that means. Whatever the reason and according to the official website it remains a mystery. And and there we have it folks, our top 10 list of some of the world's weirdest phenomena. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to stay with us. The world is wide and full of wonder and we listen to you so let us know what you want next. I've been your host Rachel Fisher and until next time guys, take care. Ooh baby, do you know what that's worth? Now we talked about bioluminescence a bit last time about like bioluminescent fish, plankton, and worms and now we're talking about but okay. Speedy Gonzales needs to slow down and produces chemicals potentially dangerous to any surrounding <sighs> and produce chemicals potentially dangerous. Mm.